Okay, folks. Here we have a a Gillette tinfoil phonograph, and a fellow who wrote a book in 1892 with ideas and drawings of how to build this exact phonograph. Uh, this particular model was made in the 1990s. There were 15 of this type made, and uh, this is number 13. Uh, other people have made them, but the company that made them made 15 of them in the 1990s. I've modified it according to suggestions by the Victrola guy. He's been very helpful to me. So we're going to give it a test and see if she works. I've already put the foil on and oiled it a little bit. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to give it a try. So here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha. Alright, so, I want you to be able to see the fun graph and not my big old head. Wander up here. And see how this Gillette tinfoil does. I've practiced with it a little. It's really like playing a musical instrument, actually. So, let's back it up a little bit more. And see if we can get anything out of this girl. Let's get her right to the right spot, roughly. And see what we can do. There we go. And hopefully, we'll get something out of her. So, here we go. Here we go. one more time. I'm not very good at getting the speed just right. It takes practice. It looks easy. But it's a little bit harder than it looks. Alright, let's see here again. Let's go a little bit here. There we go. There we go. Now let's try one more time. Alright, so there you are. That's a demonstration of uh, the Gillette 10 foil phonograph. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.